you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional <laughs> outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. What's this? It's all glowy and stuff. Bad place. What happened? What happened? <laughs> Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Mess him up. Ruin their day. Ruin their day. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're good. You sure we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Well, they're attacking us for the most part. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags you around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Did he not Is just. You're not telling me? No. Okay. Did he not just explain that he he's curious? Yoink. Good. My dog's working. Found it. Oh, it's a giant jellyfish. Awesome. What is it? Hey, Gefuge ghost. That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. The, haga, the half goof. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Half the fun. Is that what's causing the storm? As a ah, jellyfish, sir. By all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Munch. I'll get you out. Munch. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, So. Oh boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing. Oh well. Can't all be winners. Kratos is like, what is that name? There's gotta right. be a way to clear those rocks. I am trying to angle. I am trying to see, Chaos. Do anything? I know. How about that? There you go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 
Uh, now what? Um... Now we can get a clear shot of something. Looks like we can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the thing is breaky. We can free it from the surface now. All right, let's leave. That thing is freaky, man. I don't, I don't mess with jellyfish. Especially giant floaty. Why did they trap it down here? Alien jellyfish. Aquifers are known to burrow, so I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Yoink! <laughs> This is the spot! We can cut the half goof and loose here! Here we go! Be free, giant jellyfish. It's a half goof. I hate that. And hey, the storm's gone. I hate that Aye. so much. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Oh, it's Look, coming right towards boss, us. Thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can? Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Be free, big jellyfish. Uh, yeah, we don't have anything else we can do here at the moment. The sands aren't blowing anymore. Does that mean it's something? I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy, Odin knows all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept a secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't, wouldn't have tried to prevent it either way. What difference did her life really make? Old. We will finish later. Father. What was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you... not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. Let this wait. Stay alert. Oh dear God! I am not ready for this. I died immediately. I didn't have any health. Wow! That was that was really bad. What the heck was that? Okay, don't hit him while he's doing that. You 
already know that. Back away. Wow. Now, you are using a stone. I keep forgetting not to hit him. Don't get close to him, don't get close. Back away, back away, back away, back away. Okay, dodge! Bye! Two, three! Get him, get him, get him! Oh! Never mind, that wasn't it! I thought that was a thing! We're good, we're good, we're good! Thank you, Blades of Chaos, for the range! Reminds me of tales of a cruel Oh my god. One too angry to die. We will see. Oh my god. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfan. Those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. <laughs> now those Einhar Yar were kind of chumps, so... Turning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches. They fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to King. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Hold. What is that? Anything else we need? Returning to my anecdote about the Heath Witches, they fed the Thane a prophecy of his ascension to King. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> What's Mimir, this? A little while ago, you mentioned Odin's ravens. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Sort of a half. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. No! <laughs> Need to time the grab. Uh, 
What is it, Mamiya? Ah, it's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... Come back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, you would... Fair point. You would know, huh, Kratos? You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. You would know, huh, Kratos? God of War 2. Surprised to see you out here, Sentry. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. Why is he banned from. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's. Um. I don't know if. Well. Do you know what a juicy Nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Kratos, you know. Well, I hope Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. I never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Kratos, I would speak with you. Oh, hi. <coughs> right, it's Oscar. How do I talk to him? Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes. Oh, I saw I this. On... To your <laughs> I saw this online. Practice throw. Watch this. Go! A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? Go! I am already here, Master Kratos. Go! 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 Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Go! <laughs> just keep hitting it. <laughs> Extra dialogue. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. <laughs> Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Is that it? Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? <laughs> There's more. Already here, as it were. So, I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional <laughs> outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop the stupid chime! Oh. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I am already here, Master Kratos. This is looping now. Perhaps there was some confusion. This okay. is for calling me out here, not I for when I... Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I notice these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neetho. Neetho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Inquisilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect possibilities so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper. Very well. A thousand apologies, my friend. I did not mean to bore you. No, I wasn't done. I was just... Oh, man. Sorry. 
What the heck is that? It's a mushroom man. Oh my god. What dragons are you talking about, Atreus? What the heck? I see them. Oh, wow. You see them? That's nah, some Elden Ring stuff, dude. If this were Elden Ring, you could actually go up and attack them. Sadly, it is not. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, mm -hmm. where I'm as good as Odin is evil, mm -hmm. the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Alright. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Eat again. More eating. Dress. More eating scenes. Eat. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. He's cooking this time, huh? Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? You want to sit down and trace before for? Kratos beats you up? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> More Atreus stuff. Here we go. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? 
and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. He's not gonna sleep. I do too. Get out of here, Artie. Already gone. This this boy is not gonna sleep, dude. What is that? Who's speaking to him right now? Hello? Oh boy. What the Letter. heck is this? I wish I had known I was a god in Alpha. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Going on. This is when you were being a, a jerk. I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. You remember Where this? I? Remember when you were sounding like a like a All psychopath? You talk about over and over. You feel something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little we're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And yeah, not nice ones. You remember how you sounded? Out the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Zuma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey, whatever. don't run whatever. off. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 Whatever, 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 whatever. Will you stop? <sighs> ah! <sighs> what's, uh, what's going on, Atreus? I gotta get out of here. That doesn't look good. Oh no. Follow ourselves. Yeah, jump down, Trace. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Much better knife than mother's. Please stop! This is crazy, dude. Where are we? Following the wolf. Hey, 
Where are you going? <laughs> Follow you? This game is crazy, dude. Look how this looks. Whoa, this looks so cool. Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Gotta take a second to appreciate all the work that went into making this. Wow. Wow. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. I... Did you get smaller? So, where are we going? <laughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I Is mean, a fairy? Suppose I must have. I'm here. Dalu Tingu. This place is this place is freaky, man. Scent? What scent? Oh that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. How nice this looks, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? Maybe this is the person who was speaking to What's us. What's that smell? She the just air here, it's... like a wolf. I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. You tell me if you were gonna eat me. It's not a wolf, dude. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's nine of you guys. Through here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of you guys. This is crazy. with it yet. Who is this? Who are you? What's up? The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. What's up? Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. You know me? She knows Atreus? Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. 
Um, was that mean? Yes. Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. Oh, she's Anger Boda. Questions? Uh, yeah. Where That's your girlfriend, dude. That's your wife. You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. That's your wife, dude. When you said you knew me, like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. Right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this here for now.